Delta Burke, the acclaimed star of the beloved sitcom Designing Women, has recently shed light on her tumultuous departure from the show, marking her first candid discussion about her time on the iconic series in over a decade. In a revealing interview on the Glamorous Trash podcast with Chelsea Devantes, Burke, now 67, delved into her five-season stint on the show and reflected on her experiences detailed in her 1998 memoir, Delta Style. Eve wasn't a size six and neither am I. Burke's exit from Designing Women in 1991 was shrouded in controversy, attributed to a highly publicized rift with the show's creator, Linda Bloodworth Thomason, and her husband, Harry Thomason. Recounting the unraveling of her once dream role, Burke disclosed how the dynamic shifted over time, coupled with the overwhelming pressures of fame, which she struggled to navigate. Expressing fondness for her character's evolution, Burke emphasized the challenges she faced amidst the spotlight, compounded by relentless scrutiny over her weight, which ultimately contributed to her departure. Candidly, she revealed her emotional fragility in confronting the relentless criticism, recounting distressing encounters where her self-esteem was brutally attacked. Reflecting on her vulnerability during those tumultuous years, Burke acknowledged grappling with mental health issues, including a harrowing breakdown that led to hospitalization following the show's second season. She also bravely disclosed a dark chapter in her life, revealing her battle with substance abuse, including a period of dependency on crystal meth as a misguided weight loss method. Throughout the interview, Burke credited her enduring marriage to Gerald McCranny, whom she met during her time on Designing Women, for providing stability and unconditional love during her darkest moments. Despite the trials she faced, Burke expressed gratitude for her journey as an actress and the opportunity to bring laughter to audiences, finding solace and fulfillment in her present contentment.